All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh this bridge. My weight's going to have to be in grams so that we can get the weight to strength ratio. So this bridge is 300 grams. I think it's taken down here. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down this checklist and make sure that all of these items have been met. So the first thing that I'm going to be looking for is to make sure that the bridge has properly been labeled with the student's name, school, and center. This particular bridge has not, but that's not a disqualifier. It's just a 10% penalty. Do we know whose this is? That's Perla. Perla Lustre. Perla Lustre of USTRA. Yeah. And Stephanie Cruz. All right, then we check for making sure that every material here is just a popsicle stick, which looks to be that it's just popsicle sticks, so that is good. Uh, that they've only used Elmer's white glue, and that also looks to be what is in here in this case. Let me see. Get a close-up on that. Okay. So this is one of the number one reasons why a lot of bridges get disqualified is the roadway has to run the entire length of the bridge and a hot wheel must be able to pass. All right, we just want to make sure that the car can travel clearly over the bridge and that passes. And then the hardest part is making sure that the maximum number of members of sticks or partial sticks is less than 200. So if a stick is cut in half, it's considered two pieces if it's glued on here. So we have to count there whether it's partial or full, whether it's 200 pieces. And this is the longest part of it. So I usually leave this to the end, but I will manually count these sticks to make sure that there's less than 200 here. So I'll come back to this a little bit later. Uh, next thing is that we want to make sure that there's only glue at the joints, which it looks like there is only glue at the joints okay, here. Let's highlight that. Uh, so you notice there isn't any gluing on the insides here. There's only here at these joints here, here, and here. It's a pretty well built bridge. So we check that. Also, we want to check that each stick that has been glued for less than 50%, which is very clear. There's no excess gluing. Um, you could have glue on one side and then on the top and on the edge, and that would be considered 50%. You could also do partial glue here on this side and then 50% on the other side. They would also be okay. And it looks like this bridge has less than 50% gluing on each, each stick. There are no I-beams here or T-sections. Uh, none of the sticks are painted or treated, and that's true. Uh, this isn't so much, I would not consider this paint, it's just more of the drafting of when the, the bridge was being built. Um, the bridge has an open top and no roof covering. This is also another place where students uh, lose points. They'll put a roof over the bridge and that will be a disqualification. And so sometimes that forces us, in order for them to qualify for us to br break the bridge upside down, which then of course makes means that the bridge is not at the max capacity. So this is good here. The next thing that you'll be checking is for the three by three, three and a half by three and a half area for placement of the plate. And this looks like this is going to be good. I brought with me the official plate used, going to be used at Mesa Day and it will be placed in the center. That seems to be perfect, so that passes as well. Uh, bridge has support sustainable for placement on testing fixture. And this on this type of bridge, it's very important to note that these have ended at this level, so I could actually put the bridge on the frame like so, and that's what we're gonna be looking for. If these were to go all the way to the end, it would be a disqualification because then I wouldn't be able to fit the bridge inside of the two sections so that the device can go on top. So this is good. 
And the next thing I'm going to be checking is to make sure that there's no substructure underneath that's going to be interfering with this testing fixture, and that seems to be good as well. So the first pass over for specification, this bridge would pass, and we would go back and just deduct the 10% for the no labeling. Next thing is the actual dimension test. So I'm going to be checking to make sure that the bridge at the longest point is not greater than 17 inches or 43.2 centimeters. And that is less and we'll want to note exact length which is 39 centimeters and a half. So that's good. Uh, minimum horizontal length is less than 15, so it's upside down. I'm also looking for 38.1, which is the entire length of the bridge, which is still, even at the shortest point, is still 39 and a half, so this bridge is good. Maximum width is less than five inches, which is 12.7 centimeters, and that's exactly 10 centimeters, so that's good. It needs to be less than that. Minimum width at every point has to be at least over four inches or over 10.16 centimeters. This bridge, you need to be careful because it's almost exactly 10 centimeters, so I'm going to be checking some of these widths in here in the center to make sure that it's at least four. If I can get my measuring device through. That barely passes. Okay, let me get a different angle of that one too. See that measurement there? It's 10.25 centimeters, so it barely passes. All right. So that passes as well. Uh, the minimum width of the open roadway running the entire length of the bridge has to be over three and a half inches. So we look for the spot that is the shortest because throughout the entire site, it has to be three and a half inches or above. And it seems like this is gonna be the shortest side here. And that's over 8.89 inches, or 8.89 centimeters, which is 10.25. So that's good. Uh, maximum height above the roadway has to be less than seven inches, which it is. There's no roadway above it, so like a 0, 0.0 centimeter, so that's good. Mm -hmm. And maximum depth, it can't be any, from this point down, it can't be lower than 8.89 centimeters, which is 7.25 centimeters, so that's good. So this bridge would pass the test. It would be ready to be crushed. And then we would just confirm that fewer than 200, 200 popsicle yeah. sticks so were used. This one I'd have to count. Mm -hmm. So now I have to sit here and count.